Hey, Dr. Mark Testa here. In today's video, I want to talk about the role of vitamin C in our health, where you can find good, um, good foods of vitamin C and what it really does in helping us maintain our health. Also, by the way, if you didn't know, I also do health and wellness videos like this on a regular basis. If you'd like to get more of these, just subscribe below. Let's get to this now. Why is vitamin C important in our health? It helps slow down and prevent cell damage. It helps our body tissues and immune system remain healthy. Our immune system is important in, in that it helps us fight off infections and helps our body heal wounds and things like this. Vitamin C also helps the body absorb iron from plant foods, namely green leafy vegetables, spinach high in um, uh, iron. So best sources of food, we already know this to a large extent, citrus fr fruits, um, green leafy vegetables, uh, red and green bell peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, um, broccoli, things like this, right? That's where we expect it to come from, and that is where it comes from. There is some organ meat, if you eat organ meat, where you can get some vitamin C. Now, it's really important to eat vitamin C. Our body does not manufacture or make any of that, so we have to get it in through our diet, which Again, fruits and vegetables. So it's important to eat a well-rounded, colorful diet of food. Now, typical doses, it's all over the place, and it depends who you ask. Recommended daily allowance, the RDA for women, 75 milligrams. For men, 95. Uh, some allow it to go up to 2,000. Uh, some doctors use high doses. Linus Pauling uh, in the 60s and 70s did a lot of research on vitamin C, published a lot of papers in the book Vitamin C and the Common Cold. I have an autographed copy I found at a book sale. Um, it's interesting to see his take on it and what he could do and what he was saying could be done with vitamin C. We're not going to get into that here today. Now, how do you know if you have too little vitamin C? Well, you're, if you're not eating a colorful diet, that could be one uh, indicator. But also, um, easy bruising, capillary fragility, uh, bleeding gums when you floss your teeth, um, infections, common infections. Uh, I would look at sinus infections, recurrent bladder infections, urinary tract infections uh, could be sources of infections caused by lack of vitamin C. Also dry and splitting hair. Remember I said vitamin C is involved in a lot of different functions in our body, including our connective tissue, skin, collagen, hair, etc., ligaments, tendons, all of that has a, a metabolic activity using vitamin C. Also um, anemia and poor wound healing. Again, the wound healing is part of our immune system, so we can see another layer of where vitamin C affects that. How do you know if you've got too much? Well, you're going to mostly get too much by taking it orally as a supplement. Uh, really, you're going to get diarrhea. That's what's going to happen. It happens uh, at different levels for people. Some people, it's 2 grams, 3 grams, 5 grams, 10 grams, but you're going to end up with diarrhea uh, and in some people who are prone to kidney stones, it may exacerbate kidney stones, something to pay attention to. Um, some studies show that vitamin C supplements may decrease the duration of the common cold, um, and I'll put those studies uh, in the notes below. So you can see vitamin C plays an important role in our health. It's important in wound healing and, and soft tissues and hair and immune system. So. Make sure you're eating a colorful diet. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Please share it with someone else. And if you want more good health and wellness information like this, please subscribe to our channel below. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.